Hello and welcome to Tribe Topper. In this video session, you are going to learn about modeling a gas, which includes the gas laws. First of all, we have Boyle's law. Boyle's law states that for a fixed mass of a gas at a constant temperature, the pressure is inversely proportional to the volume. So when you have temperature as constant, we have to mark that and remember that when temperature is constant, the pressure and volume are changing, then the pressure is inversely proportional to the volume. So we'll say P is equal to some constant K over V that gives you the product of PV is a constant. And we often use this in the numerical problems using the equation P1V1, which is before any event happened, is equal to P2V2. So when they have given you the initial pressure and volume and they have given you the final pressure and they ask you the final volume or any one of these four is unknown and three are known, you can easily solve that using this equation. So this is an important equation. P1V1 is equal to P2V2 which we get as a result of P is inversely proportional to V but temperature has to be constant. The next one is Charles law. This is the one which says that for a fixed mass of gas at constant pressure, the volume is directly proportional to the absolute temperature. So this time your pressure is constant, that is not going to change and you have the volume and the temperature they are varying, then volume is directly proportional to T. So therefore you can say volume is equal to some constant K times T and this gives you that the ratio V to T is a constant and in the numerical problems you use it as V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2 but remember in this case your pressure has to be constant. So while reading the problem only you can make out when they mark pressure constant and volume and temperature are changing you will use this relation. Out of the four, three will be given to you. One will be unknown, which you can find out using this law. The third one is Gay-Lussac's law. Now, this says that if you have for a gas of fixed mass and volume, the pressure is directly proportional to the absolute temperature. This time, volume is constant. And now your pressure is directly proportional to the temperature. So P is proportional to T. Again, we'll say P is equal to some constant K times T. And the ratio of P over T is a constant. And you use it to solve the mathematical problems with the relation P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. But keeping your V constant. And again, out of four variables, three will be known and one will be unknown and you can determine it using this relation. The fourth one we have is Avogadro's law. This law states that the number of particles in a gas at a constant temperature and pressure is directly proportional to the volume of the gas. So now your pressure and temperature both are constant. And we are saying that number of particles in a gas is directly proportional to the volume, which is very obvious if you have a greater volume of the gas, there will be of course greater number of particles in that gas. Now we need to find out the equation of state of an ideal gas. So for that, we'll just combine all the four laws that we just studied. That's P is directly proportional to T, volume V is directly proportional to T, and pressure and volume are inversely proportional and the number of particles is proportional to V. So when you combine all these four, you get a relation P times V over T and N. This whole relationship is a constant. So we'll say that P V over N T is equal to the constant R, where R is called the universal gas constant. The values of this will be given to you in the data booklet. So the universal gas constant, PV over N T, sorry, this will be T. So PV over T is equal to, over N T is equal to R. Therefore, PV is equal to N R T. So this is the equation which we use. So when 
all of them are variable you can use this equation sometimes we also use this as like if you are talking of one mole of a gas so n becomes one so then you have p1 v1 over t1 is equal to p2 v2 over t2 so in some mathematical problems you will see when all the three are varying then out of these six quantities five will be known to you you have to figure out the sixth one so this is this equation is known as equation of an ideal gas and p1 v1 over t1 is equal to p2 v2 over t2 is used generally to solve the mathematical problems but it's not necessary that you will use only this because if it is given just you have some pressure and volume and nothing is changing otherwise and the temperature is given r will be known to you you have to find the number of particles or moles you can use this equation right so that's all in this video session we have talked about the gas laws in the next video session we are going to discuss some of the problems based on these gas laws thank you for watching